Hey babe, it's Khadija and welcome back to my channel. So if you're a new viewer, stop what you're doing and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I said don't, I meant don't. Anyways, we are talking about how we're transitioning and some helpful tips that I use all of the time to help me get through my transitional phase. So just stay tuned. You guys, last night, I was up last night and I was just thinking about what type of phase I'm in in my life right now. And I realized that I'm in a transitioning phase, you guys. I am always, always, always looking for a way to reinvent myself, reinvent my thoughts, maybe refresh my ideas, come up with something new. And I always forget that your transitioning phase is not necessarily the easiest thing in your life right like of course when you're comfortable in something and things feel like so easy going and they feel like oh my gosh everything's going good like this is great you start to understand that wait okay maybe I'm too comfortable here maybe things are going too good maybe things you know maybe like why am I so comfortable being in this space so whenever I notice that like I have been comfortable in a certain space for too long I start to figure out okay how can I shift and kind of how can I elevate I'm always I don't know if it's like my sign or what it is about me that I'm always looking for the next thing to improve upon or the next thing to shift or tweak and alter in my life to make my life you know how I imagine it to be but when I do start to get in that mind space, I really, really, really start to put that idea in my head, write it down, visualize it, and start to plan it out. And you guys, I notice that when you're transitioning, things are not going to be like the easiest thing in the world. It's not going to be walking on cloud nine every single day. You're not going to wake up like, ah, I just love it here. We're transitioning. It's great. You're going to hit some bumps in the road. So here are some ways that I have coped with transitioning because I feel like I'm an expert about transitioning. I've moved so many places. I've done so many things. I've had different jobs. So I'm, I'm really, I really kind of know some stuff about transitioning. So here are a few tips that I use while transitioning to make it kind of just an easier adjust. If you're still watching, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also turn on your post notifications so you can stay alerted every time I post. When transitioning, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't look at your life like, uh, why me? Why this? Why that? Don't question why, why, why. Don't look at yourself like there is just this huge issue and that you're failing at everything. Transitioning is literally meant to help you uproot yourself so that you can find some new ground so that you can blossom in another space, another area of your life, essentially. So when you are feeling like, okay, you know what? I need to get into this new space in my life. You need to start, you need to, first of all, you need to, I say, give yourself two days, three days, really start to feel down about your, like, if you're, if you're feeling down about yourself, just let, let yourself feel like if you have to cry, cry, if you have to eat a tub of ice cream, do that. I am such, I, I love sweets, honestly. So like when I, whenever I first am in a transition, in a transitioning phase, whenever I'm in a transitioning phase, I let myself, I let myself feel bad for like a few days. I do. I'm not going to lie. I play sad music. I, um, you know, eat bad. And then you know what I do? There is a specific night that I use and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to feel this way anymore. So after feeling bad for myself, I jump right into my goals and I don't stay in that slump. I only say use this tip if you know you can kick yourself out of that slump because the type of person I am, I'm able to get myself out of a funk easily just because I've already seen bad days before. You know, I feel like we've all seen quote unquote bad days. We've all had those bad moments. So for me, I'm so used to you know, maybe feeling this type of way and then getting myself right back into overdrive. So I say if you're good at it and if you're able to pick yourself back up, let yourself feel sad for a few days. It's fine. 
No one needs to know. I'm not saying go to Instagram and post all these quotes about, you know, blah, 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 has me messed up and this and this and taking your problems to the internet. Nobody said do any of that. No, nobody said that. But what I am saying is you can feel sad for yourself for two to three days max and then jump right into all of your goals that you have to do for you. Wake up at a new hour. If you say, let's say you wake up every day at nine o'clock, wake up at 9.30 or wake up at 8.30. I'm not necessarily saying you have to um, sleep in longer or wake up super early at 5 a.m. because that's just not realistic. People, I feel like especially our age, I'm not going to tell somebody, do you have to jump into waking up super early so that you can be the most successful and do all this stuff. But you're in a transitioning phase. So if you're transitioning, that means that you need a routine switch up okay you need to say what is going to work for you in this new period because maybe before 9 30 or 9 o'clock worked for you but now it might not you might get a couple more hours to rest you might have to you know walk outside maybe go eat breakfast on the deck or maybe go take a walk in your neighborhood switch up your routine switch up your sleep schedule if you went to bed super late wake up go to bed a little bit earlier this time if you typically went out often okay, it's time to maybe stay in, maybe say no sometimes, maybe don't always go out. It is about a whole lifestyle change. You understand that because one thing in your life is not working out, so you are transitioning or something in your life you're done with. A trans a transition means that you can transition in all aspects of your life. I think sometimes we feel like, okay, maybe if I'm changing my job or changing my hairstyle or changing this, that that is the only part of your life that you have to transition out of. No, I believe that transitioning into something is transitioning into a whole new phase in your life. So, so let's just say you are the type of person that you like to hang out with the same crowd all the time. You like to be with your two friends all the time. Y'all go to the same little restaurant. Y'all do the same little activities, which are great and grand, amazing for you. But you know what, babe? It's just time to go into another area of your life. And it's definitely time to maybe grab some food by yourself at the bar, at a new bar that you've never been to before, that you know no one at, that not a friend works at, or not a friend has ever been there, you've never seen it on Instagram. It's time to switch up the places that you like to eat. I think nowadays in this generation, we are big on we're big foodies like if you're on social media everybody's a big foodie everyone loves to try new places or everybody has that maybe even that one meal that they love to cook all of the time but like we said in transitioning there's things that you should be open to because it is like a new 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 a new experience a new dish a new that I know that finding comfortability and those things that we just know and love are just so great to us and so special and they hold a nice special thing in our little heart but you need to understand that you need to be open to trying new foods just because I feel like trying new foods is like meeting a new man you know like when you see a new guy, it's like, wow, I don't know what this is going to entail, but it's kind of exciting. It's kind of exciting to see what this is going to be like. You know, when you have like that new crush, that boy in school, or you have that new work crush, you're like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. I don't know what he's about. Let's see. That's how it can be when eating new food. So I want you guys to find a new place to try or find a new coffee shop to sit at or a new tea spot or just going out of your comfort zone. That is really the biggest tip that I have for transitioning, going out of your comfort zone and kind of diving into things that you've made. So guys, this is more of like an outer appearance type of thing, but I'm just gonna say revamp your style. Now I'm not saying revamp your wardrobe because nobody's saying to go spend $500 at the mall or on Fashion Nova or whatever stores you shop at. But what I am saying is find those pieces that you've been holding on to that I know you have that you've never worn. I am guilty of this. I have pieces in my closet that are newly bought that I haven't worn 
ever. I've had them for probably three or four years, but I'm too scared to give them away because I'm like, this piece has some potential. When you're looking, when you look at that piece, challenge yourself this week or whenever you're ready in your transitioning phase to style that piece and style it how you know you're going to like it. You know, it might be a, it might be something that's like uncomfortable or your friend said, girl, I don't like that piece. But some, for some reason you still like that piece and you're still holding on to it. You're holding on to it for a reason because not because you're not ready to let it go. I don't believe in that because with clothing, every clothing is something that, you know, kind of shows who you are in a way. Find that piece, style it in a way that is different and new and maybe trending specifically for you. And if you like it and if you love how it fits, how it smells, how it feels, the texture of it, you like the color, put that piece on this week and I promise you, who knows? You might just be walking into you might be walking into a new opportunity with that piece. Laugh a lot. Laugh, laugh, laugh a lot, okay? Transitioning can be so, so, so draining emotionally and almost physically just because you're not really sure what the next day is going to look like. You're not really sure how you're going to feel. You know, you could wake up like in a slump or you could wake up super motivated, super excited, super energized. I'm telling you to laugh a lot. If you feel like you're the type of person who's kind of always on edge and you're kind of like, uh, like you just, you just look at things like the cup is half empty. You're going to need to tell yourself to laugh. It's okay. It's okay to have mess ups. It's okay for things not to go perfectly because in, in a perfect world, a perfect world doesn't exist. That's what everyone needs to understand. There's no such thing as a perfect world. So if you, um, you know, if you're finding yourself making mistakes often, it's okay to laugh at yourself and it's okay to be like, you know what? It's not even that big of a deal. When I start to tell myself things are not that big of a deal, like literally the things that I'm doing, it kind of doesn't matter. Like essentially, you know, everything matters depending on who you ask but all in all if you mess something up like I said earlier nobody's gonna know it's not gonna be the end of the world you're going to nine times out of ten if you're the type of person who is big on transformation and and transitioning and all those you know bringing those new things into your life it's not gonna be so hard to be like uh uh lost this one and just laugh about it Maybe drink a glass of wine and keep it pushing. And the next day, you'll be able to literally look at yourself and be like, okay, I can try this again because I have I went to bed. I have a clear mind. And let's try again. But the biggest point is not to cry at every period of your transitional phase because that's going to make your transitioning phase way more dragged out than you want to. Just elongated and just not even not even great so great you're gonna just be like "Mm, uh, I don't want to do this anymore and nobody wants to feel like that so make sure girl that you talk yourself up and just start to feel like you're that girl because transitioning can be great if you want it to be great but it's all up to you and all up to your mindset so excuse me But it's all up to you. So just accept that you're in a transitioning phase and go after everything that you want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, go give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment down below if you are in a transitioning phase or if you feel like you had a transitioning phase that you kind of didn't know you were in until you finally looked back and realized, okay? Because I feel like I'm always in a transitioning phase, so I kind of want to know if you guys ever feel like y'all go through that very often as well. All right, so thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time in my video. Bye. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it.